So we are in St. Edmunds. It's a retreat on Enders Island, not far from Mystic, Connecticut. Actually, I think we are considered Mystic, Connecticut, where we're at right now. Had to take this cute little bridge to get here from Mystic, Connecticut. But as beautiful as this place is, and a lot of people come here to take pictures, some to do picnics, just lay out and look at the water and look at the beautiful serene view. But what they don't know is that there is something very creepy here. Dating back to the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church did something that today would seem very strange or even morbid to most. Yes, it was the Middle Ages and things were weird, or should I say barbaric, but this is something that still exists today. Human bodies or remains, often described as relics, would be put on display in churches and cathedrals all over the world. Even though I have heard of bodies of saints being put on display, I had no idea it was something that still exists today, especially here in the United States. And I definitely didn't know the reasoning behind it all until now. Years ago, the Catholic Church made it a tradition that every altar should contain a relic or aka human remains of a saint that has passed away which was considered to be more sacred than any living saint. The reason for this was to show people through something physical, tangible, and earthly that heaven is attainable and in some cases even more so because the saint whose relic was on display was in heaven interceding for those here on earth. So if you're wondering what this is, this is my mic. And that little fuzzy guy right there is because it's super windy out here. So that's to kind of suppress a little bit of the wind. But well, this place is beautiful. We are on an island right now. I want to give you a little bit of history. So Edmund Rich was the Archbishop of Canterbury. I believe that's in England. And he wasn't very much liked by his king. So he retired to France where he passed away and his body was put on display for a long period of time. Some time later, somebody hacked off his arm and it's here now and a lot of people don't know it. And I'm gonna show it to you here in a second. Tiffany said that this guy looks like my microphone. <laughs> you wanna wear him? Nah, he no? jumped off your chest and was like a mouth. <laughs> Got some beautiful so flowers here. AC candy, AC pillow. Caitlin's Joy, show and tell. Looks like they're doing some construction back here. It's crazy how you could find the creepiest things in the most beautiful places. Now, right behind me is actually a vineyard. At first, it just looks like regular vines, but if you look closely, you can see grapes. Check that out. You want to try one, babe? This is absolutely a beautiful place. We are trying to still find that scary relic that I'm gonna share with you. I have no idea where it's at, but we're just enjoying how pretty it is here. Now, right behind me is a walk and you're supposed to say a prayer. It's called a prayer walk. We remember in our prayers, all those who have made this prayer walk possible and their intentions. Whoa, intentions? Take up your cross and follow me. It's one of Jesus' famous sayings. Before I take this walk, if you have a special prayer request, it could be a prayer request for somebody else, prayer request for you. Maybe you're sick. Maybe you're going through some hard financial times. Maybe you just have a broken heart. I want you to say a prayer and walk with me right now. If you took that prayer walk with me, I'm praying for you that your prayers answered. Off the beaten path of the garden is a little hidden chapel over here. Not a whole lot of people here today but this place gets very busy. They have a beautiful butterfly garden just a few feet away. Wow, oh my gosh. Look at this view. So this is a prayer room. Please help Allie find her independence. 
So it seems people do come here to pray, just have some quiet time. Oh, this guy Jeff died just last year. May these people rest in peace. These are memories, they're like memorials for people. This is beautiful. I wonder if people spread their loved ones' ashes out here. This is actually granite rock right here. If you have granite at home on your countertops, you may have a similar granite stone. It does go through a process though to get it shiny and glossy. I'm trying to think where you could see it better. I cheated a little bit, went online to see where these relics are on display and it's the Lady of Assumption Chapel. You wanna to talk to her? Hello, internet. <laughs> it's a little memorials for a lot of people. Whoa, a 9-11 memorial. Look at this. What are the chances of her dying on 9-11-01? That was the exact day. I mean, I could be wrong. Hey, look, somebody dropped their lip gloss. Want it? No? He brightened the lives of those he touched, his laugh. Laughter was a splash of water across the landscape, his heart, the horizon. Aww. Well, we're not far from New York, right? Rest in peace, Rick. No way. That's a military plane right there. Okay, we found it. It's in here. Now, the remains were brought here in 2002. This looks like some of that granite rock that we saw right outside here. But we have to be really quiet going into here. It says that there may be some people praying. So even though there wasn't anybody in the church praying, we were still very quiet and respectful. Tiffany made her way out really quick. She just felt bad that we were even whispering. I don't, I don't know, I feel weird in the church. Like did you see, yeah, I guess a little bit. Did you see that portrait? Like right when you walk out, there's this, this it's, I don't know, it's like old art and it shows, looks like some saints and it's like a funeral of maybe like another saint I wonder if that was an illustration of St. Edmund when his body was on display. An illustrated prayer of St. Edmund by Valerie Moore, numerous statues and curvies by the Mr. Gregory. <laughs> okay, there's the answer. <laughs> oh, right next to me. This is what the island looks like, Ender's Island. It's such a beautiful this area. This is where we are right now. Yeah, we're right there. There's Lady of the Assumption. That's where the relic can be seen. What'd you think of that? It was weird. Kind of weird, huh? Like know? someone like hacked off his arm. I wonder if the rest of his body is scattered around different churches. So I mean, weird. he must have been a pretty big deal. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that I've heard of bodies being on display or body parts being on display at some Catholic churches. This is a Catholic church, right? I believe it is, but don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. And I don't want to claim that I am right when I am not 100% sure. But I did wanna show you the bridge that we went on to get here to Ender's Island. I mean, the island is beautiful. The people that keep up with this, I mean, probably half of them are volunteers doing work here. I, I have to give it up to them. It's a lot of work and they do a beautiful job. I mean, all the flowers, 
and the trees. I mean, it's a lot of work that goes into that. The gardening with all the rocks. And like I showed you where that vineyard was, they're redoing that area over there. Yeah, this is the bridge. And that's Mystic, Connecticut, right over there, which is a beautiful town, by the way. Beautiful homes. Yeah, there is really cool looking island right over there. And I see an island earlier that had a house on it. Where is it? That almost looks like a military base or something. It's like abandoned or something. I don't know. I think there's a house on that island right there. All right, fam. So there you have it. That was St. Edmund's arm. If you come here to Ender's Island, please be respectful. You know, don't whip out a spirit box and start doing a spirit box next to that. Which, you know what? That probably isn't a bad idea. In a church? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, but no. what about from the car? No. I couldn't find any haunted history on the island, although it would be very creepy at nighttime. Imagine going into that church, like with all the lights off at nighttime. Anywhere is creepy at night. I, I know, but I mean, where there's an 800 year old relic of an arm that's in very strangely good condition. I just had a whole image of it from Adam. Like one like that? You know what's crazy? <laughs> but I mean, it's the whole arm. You sit in there praying, and all of a sudden you hear. <laughs> no, but the thing is, is Tiffany walked out because, like, she was just embarrassed that I was filming. <laughs> In a church. I mean... I know, people... I was being respectful. The I was. that videographers have to do for content. I get it, but... It was, but she walks out to go use the restroom, and it sounded like like the glass. I don't know. So I, I heard, like, some weird tapping. Mind you, there is nobody in this church but me and God and this arm that's dead. Very weird. I don't know. There could be an explanation. Maybe the ground was moving. Maybe there was wind the windows weren't open though which is it's kind of weird kind of weird not gonna lie but i hope you enjoyed the video gotta go for now before you leave give me a kiss Mwah. peace